Go two handed. <laughs> so I should have bought a t shirt. I thought there's not many places I could go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got this one and Puffy. Puffy. I love those guys. Okay. Actually, I'm going to make the number bigger. You mind if I just do this? I ordered, I ordered a, uh, a shirt from Samantha B's website and I haven't seen it yet. It probably had to uh, create create the silk screen for it before they can knock yeah. it out. You know, they yeah. probably have to render it. Well, I know for these guys, they had to get an X amount of orders in, and then they put the order. Yeah. Uh, when Occupy Des Moines had a uh, few batches of shirts made, they cut us a discount because we got a number, mm -hmm. you know, a certain number minimum. And we could get assorted sizes. Then, there you, go. you know, and Ray Gun does that. Yeah. Yeah. But then yeah. the union people get mad because he's not a union shop. Oh, yeah. No, Mark Cooper will be all over you like a rat on the cheek. He was all over me one day from Indigo School. Yeah. Like, it but, was uh, made from, uh, it was Union Shop in Iowa City, but it was from. Yeah, the there is a, a union printer that CCI uses. Yeah. I don't remember. There's a lot of them. Yeah, I don't remember which particular one, and but. Like, I was handing out flyers, and he's like, you could have found a union printer. Yeah. Like, you know, I did a, I did a, Tony, um, But if you want to find one, you know, they could probably tell you. Oh, it's under union. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Well, I, did, I, did. I have a blank red t-shirt that I want to uh, put something on, but I haven't decided what I'm going to put on it yet. I thought for sure it was going down. I have a white one that says, uh, you know, it has DAPL and then a cross circle over it, but uh, I got to I gotta redo that one because the red is going to turn to Can we go on the other side rust. Of the huh? Can we go over there? Uh, honestly, well, you know what? That may not be a terrible idea. That's what Anna and I did, and then I had all the fun people come up and hug me and tell me thank you. There you oh, go. that's nice. I know. Anna goes, I'm coming to your side of the road. Oh, and there's... We were down in front of Scenic Grout Bakery. Um, and because there's nothing over there blocking the sidewalk, you could stand there. Who was the guy? You guys, I, my names. He's a big dem. He ran for governor. Yeah. Um, Called Chuck. Yeah. He, he was in Scenic Route Bakery, and he came out and thanked us and said, do you know how many people sat and called while eating lunch just by looking at your sign and phone number? It says, David Young, call David Young. Yeah. So that's why. <laughs> that's why I say we should take a walk down court and see who's, mm -hmm. see if we can get any bites. Yeah. Hi, senators. <laughs> Boston Terrier. <laughs> what kind is it? Boston Terrier. Boston Terrier. Oh, oh so cute little pup. Hi. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's his name? Willow. Hi, Willow. You smell my cat scent, don't you? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I'm owned by a cat. Yeah, Willow, I'm owned by a cat. There you go. Come on. Yeah, silly little squirt. <laughs> Okay, you get an air scratch. No, don't. <laughs> no, you have no idea. You got a record, Mary? <laughs> oh, I have a record. Okay. But the four of them got dropped. Good, good. The prosecutors got tired of me pushing for a jury trial for a trespass. Whose office is? What? Oh, that's right. That's and right. Office was prosecuting the guy that's okay. Okay. And they're not happy with their office. I understand. Because they're getting him psychiatric help. Ah. Uh, so, what I'm saying is, he's here a lot. 
negotiating. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to go over there, you're more than welcome. <laughs> Might be a few less cameras, at least harder to see. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to create that. Illusion, oh, they but. stopped for you. Why do you know? Oh, the light That's changed. The sign. He's got yeah. to stop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you had enough people, you could have put people on all four corners. True. We, yeah, we've done that before. But it's supposed to have them here because people are stopped and they can stop. They can stop and read the signs. Yeah. I'm just saying, if you had enough people, you could have done that. Uh, when the occupiers had the tent in the park, Stewart Square, we would get honks all night long. <laughs> so. Nice. Just have to get used to, you know, having that kind of noise when you're trying to sleep. <laughs> then I, then after we broke our camp and I go back home, it's like, whoa, it's super quiet, you know. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> yeah. But if something like that happened again, yeah, I'd do it. I'd do it again. When I was inside there yesterday, I uh, I recorded offline because I can't oh, that's get signal. Right. There was that, it, was that, it was a CCI meeting. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. And one person gave them pictures of uh, a grandparent who who needs uh, you know, all kinds of services from Medicare and uh, you know whatever. Yeah, yeah, I heard that that heard that, that happens. And if and if they go with, through with the stupid age crap thing, that's going to screw people like that. My mom is past 70. She can't get hearing aids because neither Medicare nor her supplement will cover the cost of them. Yeah. Apparently hearing is a luxury, not a necessity. You know, Ray Gun's having a sale or a... Uh benefit for Access Iowa on Friday. Yeah, I arranged it. Oh, did you? What's your name? Jen. You're, you're Jen Leatherby? Yeah. I'm Jess McCord. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. We've just been chatting. We have been, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for being out here. Oops. Our pleasure. Oh, wrong one. Here, there you go. This is kind of a last minute thing, so we're it's just a few just yeah. a few group leaders out here right now. Yeah. yeah. It's so funny, too. Someone posted, like, right as I was leaving, I saw Facebook so like, yeah, so the whole, like, trans thing that they brought up is, like, just a distraction from the fact that they're just, like, trying to kill a bunch of people by taking away health care. Yeah, I don't, it's like, I, I'm, I'm, I wasn't distracted. I didn't know how well that really worked. I, I mean, people are upset about it, but if you, yeah. like, even just look at the facts, it's, like, uh, if they're going to discharge trans people, they're going to medically discharge them, and then they're going to pay for their better and health care. So it's yeah. like this it's not even effective. The excuse is wrong. Like yeah. now I, I'm almost, I'm wondering if this is if this is a statement of intent or this is he's actually done anything to stop people trans people from being in the, in the army. I don't even think he'll be able to. It's not like people are like desperate to be in the army. It's not like they can yeah. be picky. Well, about that. well Manning I think has to be given the you know the trans services I think there was a ruling on that from well but he's in prison though that's, yeah or he was in prison that's a kind of a different story yeah oh I mean uh, yeah she was released though right I think so I think Chelsea she was Manning? I think Chelsea was exonerated by Barack yeah or she's free now or pardoned yeah, yeah. pardoned yeah. it was just at the time I gotta meet yeah. some people Okay, hey, nice to meet you. I'll see you on Friday, and I'll talk to you online. Yeah, that that would be a, a, a pardon. Yeah, it was pardoned. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah, we actually had a couple of uh, protests outside of Obama uh, campaign headquarters urging him to uh, get uh, Manning released. Yeah, which he did at the end of his presidency. Yeah. So. Can you tell me what time you've got? Yeah, I got uh, uh, six three. Six thirty. Yeah. Yeah, maybe some of them are up in the skywalk wondering where the heck everybody is. <laughs> yeah, they should be able to look over and well, I hope not. Yeah. They're on locust.
Another idea might be is if there is something going on in the civic center itself, is like stand across the street from it and catch people going towards it. You know, they're walking from their parking spaces. That's true. We could do that. I don't think there's anything going on tonight, though. No, but usually the weekends. Ladies, what do you think? You want to take a walk down court? Yeah, okay. Yep. Four of us are going to change the location. All right, Kaylin, can you yep. come with us? Yeah, no, okay. walk. We are leaving Sutton and Walnut. We're following Second Avenue and we're going over to Court Avenue. So I'm staying alive. This is the east side of the federal building here. And that is a Polk County government building there. I'm walking, I'll show you a, a card from the organization that is doing this little thing. Oops. Oh, that's right. Indivisible Iowa. Is a new group that is formed to uh, protest the Republicans' efforts to pretty much gut the whole health care system and make it all go private in the hands of for profit companies that uh, have an aim of making a profit off of people that. Uh, cannot afford to pay for health care on their own, on their own pocket. And yet they get to have top shelf, five diamond health care coverage. They can basically get any kind of treatment they want to need without even thinking about it. Court Avenue is, at least this part of it, the Court Avenue District is a collection of restaurants and bars. Some of the multi-story buildings have apartments above them that some people can live in if they can afford it. Or there may be offices for small entities. Good looking pup. Now walking on court towards first. We're 
what used to be Fish Street. I'm not sure exactly where they're going. But I'm following them. There is an open plaza area here. I recorded it in a couple of times in some past streams when uh, I was following marches through this area. And looks, skateboarders like to trick off of it. And I think BMX bikers like to trick off of it too. Because of the different uh, structures that are on it. And on the other side of that is a river, the very polluted Des Moines River. So there are some other people here. I think this little group will try to get them to think about uh, the AFSCME conference is on Saturday. Yeah, convention. Yeah. yeah, there's a you know there's so much going on Saturday. Yeah. There are some games that are set up here. Looks like there's some sort of a. Looks like a small carnival type activity. Raise up above the plants here. Yeah, let's do that. the other way. We are now on the south side of Court Avenue and walking back to the west towards the courthouse. I think they're just going to roam. This original was supposed to be down up in the skywalk because it was supposed to be raining, but and so few had indicated that they would show up. And when we got here, it was not raining, so then the guy who's running this little activity decided to go outside, so that's why I'm outside. There is an assortment of bars and restaurants. There's 
parking crap. Which is not a public one. You have to be like a member or something. Get a monthly uh, parking pass to use it. We have quite a few of those around the city. Yeah, I'm slow. That music coming out of one of the bars that I passed. You will hear that occasionally as I move around. This is about the time when people who want to go out to eat usually come out for dinner. going out to drink. Yeah, it's going to be very nice for July. How about rain? Any rain? Uh-uh. Okay. Nope, sunny. You, you okay? Yeah, just remember I'm slow. There is a Polk County Courthouse well, there the for uh, reference. I mean, I would this is Court Avenue County here. Uh, and 3rd okay. Street there. I'm, I'm 
picking up the paint for the banners, so I feel like I've done that part. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. And oh. you're doing the tent. Yeah. Well, yeah, whatever you... Whatever. Oh, that's my initials. Okay, that's good. How much is the banner? If both of them, we, we're getting a 12 by, 12 by 3 one and a 6 by 3 one, total of 1 inch. Alright, I can contribute like 40. Is anyone else donating? Yeah, yeah, there's quite a few people. I said I'd kick in 10 to 20 or whatever. So yeah. we're gonna put out a we're gonna put out a uh, donation jar. Yeah. We're gonna put out Look, a, some just honked as they're driving on the third. Well, so. oh, and then I would say, like, so what if what if we found money in the donation jar and we get what if we get over the last Well, then save it for the next event. We're going to fight for it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's, what, that's, that's not a bad idea. That's why I'm getting it personal. We could put that rest of the money. Kind of cash fund for other banner signs. One thing we were thinking about doing is buying a megaphone. Oh, we got a small one, but actually yeah. found it a nicer one. So CCI has one. Yeah. They do. Yeah. But we don't want to always be reliant on right. them. Did you see uh, Nancy Pelosi's <laughs> megaphone the other day? Yesterday oh, at the Capitol, no. she's Democrats like, oh, with this bullhorn. I'm like, go girl. Plan for their new branding is kind of. Yeah, well, that's where you expect anything last, though. So we need to get more progressive in the leadership because this is the party. That's all it is. Yeah. It's worth uh, watching the new head of the Iowa party. You know, see what he does. Yeah. I'm totally moved to do that part of the party. There's a car right beside us that has some loud music. But anyway, what the Democrats need right now is a big idea. You know, they, they, what they need is, a, is to present a new social contract. And that's not what they've done. No, there, there needs to be a new, new deal like FDR had. I'm really concerned that we need we need to do something about um, the way the way rural America is falling apart because I really see us. Oh my God, this health care bill is going to kill. Yeah, rural I, America. I really see it going the way of Nazi it's, Germany if we don't. It's already cool starting to because you know with the fewer Medicare and Medicaid providers or mm -hmm. you know there's you know the Medicaid privatization here in Iowa yeah. that was a flop and a half. Look mm -hmm. what happened. They're Absolutely. pulling out. Absolutely. And it was more, and it's more expensive to run it like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the state has to bail them out. And less care. And yeah. yeah. People getting denied essential care. Oh, well, it's you know? nothing compared to what's going to be happening. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. I'm afraid that this is going to go the way of what the British government has tried to do to their national health service. Mm -hmm. And they had these. Uh, "Quote unquote work capability assessments, and what happens with those is they hired a private company to run these. Yeah, Which they're point? not run by so medical personnel. They're run by you know like uh, pencil pushers. Yeah. Thank you. And the worst, yeah. the Thank worst you. case cases were when they would go to interview someone, and they're terminally ill, yeah. bedridden. Oh, well. They told the." Uh, Paraplegic that he is qualified to do a roofing job. Are yeah, you right. Me? No, uh, that's yeah. the truth. Yeah. And a and there's an exactly. And then there's another. The worst job. one that I heard about. There's a comatose woman. Right. They went to yeah, her hospital room. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Get, we're gonna they, cross here. They went to not. Mary. You, you hold on to the signs. I'll get it back to me uh, here on Sunday. Okay. They went to her hospital room. And because yeah, no, she sorry. would not answer any questions, well, of course, she's comatose. They they said that she is going to uh, cut her benefits. Yeah, I know. I've been doing a research on her. Yeah, yeah. If you if you research that, I think that will definitely give you more ammo to go on. So, are you basically going to call it? Yeah, yeah, we're we're, we're, we're done. We're done. Okay, I'm gonna, we didn't do what? Okay, I'm limits. gonna. Goodbye. I'm gonna do it again on Saturday. So. Uh, okay. Yep. We'll see you then. Yep. Bye. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the stream off. It is raining, and they are calling it quits. I'm gonna go to the Dart bus station and catch a bus and go home. So thanks for watching and catch on the streams.